Welcome back to MJ in the Kitchen and I'm Mary Jane and today we're making Nashville hot chicken. My husband and I spent six weeks in Nashville and one of the things that they're famous for is hot chicken and boy is it spicy. Today we're going to show you how to make the traditional version and also we're going to show you how to make a more mild version with all the flavor but just not as much kick. Let's get started. Today we're going to serve our hot chicken on sandwiches using chicken thighs. You can use breasts, whichever you prefer. It's completely up to you. The first thing we're going to do is mix our spices together for the dry rub and sprinkle it on the chicken and then let it rest in the fridge for about an hour to allow enough time for the spices to mingle. First we're going to add brown sugar, chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and some cayenne. Next, we're gonna to wanna to give it a good mix to ensure that all the spices are incorporated and there's no clumps. Next, you wanna give the chicken a generous coating of the rub. Make sure you get both sides and pat it down. You'll have plenty left over and we'll use that later to make the sauce. Now into the fridge for about an hour. Next, let's make the buttermilk mixture. It'll add a little extra tang to the chicken and is also used traditionally in southern fried chicken. First step is to add the buttermilk and then your favorite hot sauce. Crack two whole eggs and whisk that up until they're fully mixed. So it's been about an hour, it's time to put the chicken in the buttermilk to marinate. So it's been four hours and we've taken the chicken out of the fridge and we're going to prep it for cooking. To do that, we're going to do a double dredge to add some extra yumminess and crispiness to the overall chicken sandwich. The flour that we're using is just all-purpose flour with salt and pepper. Now we're going to finish up the chicken. We'll take it out of the buttermilk and put it in the flour. Make sure you coat both sides generously and then we'll put it back in the buttermilk again and repeat. That's why it's called a double dredge. So now we're going to make the sauce by using some of the oil that we cooked the chicken in and mixing it with the dry rub that we reserved earlier. So we're going to take the sauce that we just made and brush it on one of the chicken thighs. We're adding the sauce to just one chicken thigh, and remember the other one still has all the same yummy goodness because it was in the dry rub and also soaked in the same buttermilk with hot sauce. All you need to do is add a couple of pickles and the toasted brioche bun, and they're ready to eat. Yum. Let's try it. Mmm, that's yummy. Thanks for joining us for this episode. Please be sure to let us know in the comments below how your recipe turns out. Till next time, MJ in the kitchen.